G'day everyone, it's your Uncle Jojo. Great to see you all. We've talked in the past about windows and doors um, and the leaking of energy around windows and doors and around and through the glass. Today what I've got is laminated glass. Quite often we talk about double glazing or single glazing. Well, this is a laminated glass. Laminated glass can help reduce sound quite a lot. It, what it is, is two pieces of glass that are laminated together, but they've got an interfilm in between them. You can change the interfilm, you can thicken the interfilm, and you can also thicken your glass. All of them provide different properties to the way that they perform for energy efficiency. We've got on these ones, come over here and check ch 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 it out. Today we've got, if you can just see that, Today, just here, what we've got is two pieces of glass, both three mil, and then in between that is a film. The main reason we've used it here, we've got three meter high doors. The weight of double glazing was too much for this area, for the rollers and everything else, so we used laminated glass instead. And what that does is it reduces the weight, but still keeps a fair amount of the performance, the thermal performance that we need for energy efficiency in the home. Double glazing definitely would have been better for this, yet due to the weight that the double glazing units would have had on one, two, three, four, five doors, we would have had big problems with it over the time. This has been here for seven years and we've never had any problems so far with the doors shifting and moving about. Because these are timber doors, we also had to consider the weight of the door section. So it was the glass as well as the timber. We didn't want to use aluminium here. Aluminium has a high conductivity to heat and cold. So what ends up happening is if we've got lots of glass and then we've got aluminium here as well, then it, we reduce the thermal efficiency of this area. Too much cold air or too much hot air will be able to get through the frames uh, and then cool inside or alternatively the hot air from inside can get through those frames and leak out So it stays cold inside or especially in front of these doors and windows and that's a main living area So just to touch on base on that in the future when you're looking at doing a renovation or extension or a new home Don't just think of single glazed or double glazed But you can also do laminated glass with a different type of interfilm Thanks for watching. That's my helpful handy hint for today. Uh, any questions or queries about that, flick them over. I'll answer them for you best I can. Until then, like always, thanks for watching and stay awesome.